At night, aligns all the shady features and all our empty worlds. Behind the scene, they're picking up the pieces of all broken hearts. But I believe in coloring the world. hope you're well and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you where we are staying for the week we have come down to cornwall in popello i believe i'm pronouncing that correctly and we've been invited down here to stay at the brand new ultimate bungalows and that are in the seaview holiday village down here oh my god they are stunning we are so so lucky to be invited down here and um, we're absolutely loving it we've got lots planned for the week so i just wanted to show you around and give you a little insight they're brand new the decor is amazing it is right up my street and you'll see that when we go in as to why it's up my street because you know what my house is like back at home but yeah i just thought i'd show you around and show you why they are so amazing so if any of you guys are thinking about coming down to cornwall for a break or anything like that i would definitely recommend to stay and try and stay in one of these ultimate bungalows because they really are stunning so i'm going to show you around so the location of these are absolutely stunning you'll see why in a second they look fab from the outside they have these like glass balustrades which are lovely and there's kind of two next to each other and you walk up these stairs here i actually really like these i think these are like composite decking type things which is what we was planning to get for our garden at one point but you literally walk up. How cute is this little entry? Love this. It's right up my street. <laughs> and then you walk in and you have two areas. It's like a porch area. You've kind of got these hooks here where you can hang coats, which is really handy. And then we are staying at number 71. Um, but like I said, there's like an adjoining bungalow just there. And then as you go in, I mean, can you see why this is my cup of tea now? Grey and white furnishings. Can't really go wrong. <laughs> so as you go in, you can have like a full view of the whole way round. So you've got like the little outdoor area there. And as you look around, you've got a living room area. You have a fireplace with a TV. You've got a dining area and a kitchen. It is really big. I expected something a lot smaller. And what I love about these are kind of the colours and the decor. Normally you find that you go into like really brightly over coloured places and things like this. And this is so modern and chic, which I love. So you walk through here and you have your kitchen area. And this really has everything you need. There's an oven, a toaster a microwave and a fridge freezer i mean there isn't really much else that you could possibly need oh and a kettle obviously and then obviously it comes with everything you might need to use so you've got things like glasses and things like that we've obviously popped a few bits in the fridge and in the cupboards um pots and pans so you can make food but it kind of really comes with everything you could hope and wish for and then obviously, as you can see, the dining area is really conveniently placed, a nice table for you to sit around. The occupancy of these are for a family of four. So I believe you can get two adults and two children into these. I'm not sure if you can get um, any more in like a travel cot or anything like that, if they allow that, but I will double check for you and let you know. And also here's the bathroom. It's a little bit noisy, so I'm not gonna be in here for too long because there's an extractor fan, but it's literally a very nice 
very clean um neutral decor bathroom which is fab it has a shower facility and you've got a toilet and then you have a sink with a mirror as well which is always really handy i'm not going to go too much into that just because it's a bit noisy um but then as you walk around you have the master bedroom through here which again i really like i think it's really simple it's bright which i think if the whole place was gray and white it wouldn't feel so holiday homey um and it'd kind of feel like you weren't really away um so i love this a nice clean fresh looking master bedroom bedside tables and what i love about this is there's a nice window there's a nice full length mirror another mirror here for like doing your makeup which would be perfect and there's also a tv which means i can watch love island in bed and i haven't got to worry about not being able to catch it and i've also just noticed there's a crushed velvet lampshade amazing looks stunning and i also love the fact that it had these usb chargers too which i think is a great idea and then as you come back through here you go round and into the boys bedroom and I love this. The bunk beds are super cute and definitely something I would consider getting for Clayton's room. Again, a very similar colour theme. This time the curtains are kind of in this yellowy green shade, which I love. Um, and then yeah, you've got the two bunk beds. We're actually planning to put a travel cot in here for Parker. So the boys are going to share a room tonight, which Clayton's really excited about. And then as you can see down here is our travel cot. Now they're actually really good here at the Seaview Holiday Village and you can hire cots, high chairs, you can have like welcome packs so your fridges are stocked with like your basic essentials of milk, tea and coffee and things like that, which is really handy. We've actually brought some bits from home with us um, but there are definitely some things that we need to go out and grab from the shops because we stupidly forgot. Um, but I'm gonna show you outside now because I think this bit is my favorite bit of the whole bungalow. So as I mentioned, you've obviously got these doors here and they are bifolding doors. So they open right up. And I mean, you can kind of see here now with a little bit of a sneak preview of what's to look at out there. It is just stunning. So basically these doors open up like so, she says. And then this one open up like that. And then with a little bit of a push and some encouragement, these open the whole way up, which is just amazing. And then as you can see, I love these kind of whole outdoor living areas that bring the outdoors in. So as you can see, you can literally step straight out here. Like I said, the glass balustrade enables you to be able to see all the way out. They have this really nice black rattan furniture with like a bigger area here so you can sit out here of an evening with a couple of glasses of wine or in my case it'll be prosecco i love some of the plants that they've got out here and also these little fairy lights i'm hoping will come on later because they look adorable and they've also got these mini olive trees look how adorable they are and then obviously this is our view look how stunning this is the beach is literally over to the far right hand side it is amazing i cannot wait to see out here of an evening with a couple of glasses of wine it will be so nice and relaxing so the ladies on the front desk were really really helpful they were really really informative they helped show us where everything was where we could park up um, how we could get kind of our luggage in and things like that and all the facilities that are on site there are so many amazing facilities here i think there's like a bar and a restaurant there are some play parks there's a swimming pool they have loads of different evening activities and entertainment set up so i'm really excited to see all of that this evening and over the next few days and take part in that and they also said that of an evening there aren't any like built up areas around here so it's really really dark so you can literally sit outside a couple of glasses of wine and literally you can see the stars and it's really 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 amazing so i'm really excited for that it's gonna be such a nice relaxing trip away with the boys cornwall is always somewhere that i've wanted to go and i love this location because it isn't too far from anything you can kind of get around to everywhere so we have a few different things planned over the next few days so hopefully i will share all those with you but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed seeing what the ultimate bungalows look like like i said they are amazing i love the decor of these look how good it looks i'm really really impressed and um, so if you are looking for somewhere to stay i would definitely recommend these 
And I also wanted to share something else with you. So I wanted to share with you this app here. It is called the app for Cornwall. And it's a really good app that basically allows you to see lots of different things to do in and around Cornwall. You can see lots of different things from attractions, activities, any different offers and vouchers, what's on, places for go to food and drink, for shopping, to stay. There's so much stuff on here. I was looking at the activities section earlier and I love the fact there was like a children's indoor play area because it was meant to rain. So I was looking at that and then obviously you have some different options as well so offers and vouchers i love this because me and adam are a bit food and drinkers obviously it tells you where you can get money off at food and drink and things like that which i thought was fab but it's just really handy to basically see what's going on if there's anything going on in the local towns or anything like that you can have a look there a dinosaur quiz towel that looks like so much fun like clayton would love that oh i definitely think we're gonna have to take him to that whilst we're here but it's just a really, really good app to have. So if you are visiting Cornwall, I would definitely recommend you downloading this app. And like I said, it's literally called the app for Cornwall and it's such a helpful and handy app. So yeah, I would definitely recommend you using it because it's going to help us plan what we're doing this week, this evening when me and Adam sit down. But like I said, obviously I will be giving some more vlogs over the next few days. So you can kind of see what we get up to in and around the area. So if you want to stay tuned for those, then just make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see more. And I'll see you all again in another video shortly. Bye guys. Oh, I'm